Welcome on back to East Texas Live on KDK. Joining us now is Deborah Jobs with SPCA of East Texas. Thank you so much for joining with me we and are with happy you. To be here. You have a beautiful little friend. She is gorgeous. What's her she? name? This is Jenny. Jenny. She's a nine month old boxer mix. Oh she's goodness. got some spots and she's got a little something something going on here. But you know, they make the best dogs. These yeah. blended breeds are just the mixed breeds. They're such good family members. She and five of her siblings were abandoned in the mm -hmm. country, and we've taken them in and gotten them good and healthy and spayed, neutered, and vaccinated. So we're ready to find forever families for these babies. She is just so well behaved. Now, she what kind of parents would fit best for Jenny? What are you looking for? Well, she's not going to get a whole lot bigger. She's obviously not full grown, but she's mm -hmm. not going to be a huge dog. Yeah. Um, she would make a great uh, running buddy if okay. you're an athletic person. If you've got a, a family with young kids, she would make a great uh, playmate and companion to your to your children. I think having a pet teaches kids responsibility mm -hmm. and humane behavior and care. So, you know, pet ownership is a big commitment, but uh, she'd be good with pretty much anybody. I mean, I really think she her, she and her family, or her brothers and sisters would be good with anybody. She's going to need a backyard where mm -hmm. she can run and play a little bit. Yeah. But then she's, as you can see, going to want to come in and just hang out. Now, what are the perks about having a little Jenny a part of your family or any dog for people on the fence, kind of trying to think about adopting but not sure? Are you, there you go. I came the mic. Okay, I can't imagine a house without pets. Mm -hmm. It's so quiet and there's an emptiness. Yeah. There is such a, a wonderful warmth when you come home at the end of the day to have this little face there to meet you and greet you. I think her tag is <laughs> wagging <laughs> she, on the mic. Oh, you're getting excited. You okay? Are you it's making okay? music? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. you know, th this to me is the perfect dog. She's yeah. not too big. She's not too little. She's not a trip hazard, mm -hmm. which sometimes a tiny, tiny dog can get between your feet, mm -hmm. you know, for a senior citizen or something that yeah. wouldn't be a good, but she'd be good with a, with a retiree even. Okay. She'd probably love to travel, go in Aww, a motor home with yeah. you, look out the window, catch some breeze. Yeah. So why is it best to adopt rather than breed? I know a lot of people are kind of torn there too. Well, you know, if you have your heart set on a special breed, you should contact a breed rescue. Mm -hmm. All the breeds have rescues that specialize in that breed. But unwanted or unplanned or, or homeless pets are uh, such a huge mm -hmm. problem in East Texas. Yeah. The overpopulation of homeless animals is really large. So the number one reason for adopting is to cut down on that homelessness and mm -hmm. the amount of euthanasia, regretfully, that takes place in shelters. Space is an issue. Definitely. Um, there's a lot of abandoned animals. and, and that that just breeds more animals. If mm -hmm. you take them out and abandon them, they're going to make more animals. Right? Well, Deborah, thank you so much. <laughs> and Jenny for joining us yes. on this Wednesday morning. She's just so well behaved and She's such a wonderful. beautiful, just perfect medium-sized dog. Thank so please you. give her a forever home. Thank you so much.